Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me higher Feels like I can fly can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile hello friends welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video in today's video as you saw by the title I am doing lots of homemaking and I am starting my seeds for my garden 2023 um, I am super excited to be sharing this video with you all it is a video that I filmed everything that I love to do especially on the weekends um, just taking the day slow and slowing down time and slowing down just what I need to do and just really embracing it all in I know that I said slow a lot and like it all meant the same but that's really what I love to do on the weekends is just really slow down and just embrace everything that I'm doing and just really focus on what I want to do for the weekend especially because weekends are just so short and everybody tries to cram as much in on the weekends well not everybody but I do I try to cram in everything that I enjoy to do or want to get done and be productive on the weekends and that includes making breads um cooking doing laundry um now starting my seeds I wrote a bit in my cookbook um, just some recipes that I've saved that needed to be written down and then I also started my garden journal for 2023 so there's a lot in today's video I hope that you enjoy it but let's get started I am already starting on my bread I also do make some pizza dough um, just to freeze for the week um, so we can have homemade pizza so there's just a lot in today's video but I hope that you enjoy it and if you have bread that you want to make or if you just kind of want to learn how to make it um, there's lots of recipes on Pinterest that you can look up or if you have any special people on Instagram that you follow that make bread you can also look at their recipe or go to their website um, and then if you also have seeds for your garden 2023 that you want to start then start that along with me and I hope you enjoy today's video if you found what you're looking for I hope it's not too late I want you by here with me we never should have said it's better this way I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go this day when I was making all of the bread and the pizza dough, um, my sourdough was not doing as good as it normally does. It was starting to die, so to bring it back to life and get it back to where it was, I had to feed it multiple times the same day um, just so I could continue making the breads and continue making the pizza dough, but also have sourdough left over. Um, so I definitely needed to do that, and I fed it over three times, and also for the jug that it's in I did just wipe it down normally I clean it and I already did clean it twice that day before I already fed it um, so I already knew it was gonna get messy again and it was already clean so 
I just put the sourdough back in there even though it looks like a disaster um, and then the sourdough started rising pretty quickly I do use really warm water not like hot where it will kill my yeast but kind of warm so that it will help it rise quicker especially in the winter months where it's colder inside and outside um, and it did a great job now I am doing my first stretch and fold so normally when I make my sourdough breads I have to do four stretch and folds every 30 minutes for two hours um, and so this one's the first one Now that my bread is sitting and rising and getting ready for the second stretch and fold, I am now writing down all the seeds that I do want to start. Um, it's really early to be starting them, but these are like the ones that take a little bit longer to um, start turning into seedlings and grow and then there are also some that can go outside in the cooler months so I am starting them and then I am putting them in the basement with some grow lights and I do have plant heaters um, so that they will stay nice and warm and continue staying moist to grow um, you will see that soon but uh, first I need to write down all the seeds and look through all of my seeds that I have so I know which ones I do want to start now and here are the seeds that I wrote down that I want to start so there's chives dill banana peppers pizza peppers but bell peppers butter lettuce simpson lettuce and then a couple of flowers so those are what i am starting i also started um, a candy onion um, that's yellow a red onion and then a shallot and i might throw in a few more like eucalyptus a money plant and just a few more we are still getting in some more seeds um, as i say we me and my mom we are doing this together um, we use the same garden beds to plant in and and mine are especially going to be for my son um, I of course I'm going to provide for my family with the, all the food and the flowers and everything that I grow but I'm also using it for homeschool so I teach my son how to grow a garden and what all the plants are and just everything like that so especially if you want to see all that stuff um, subscribe to my channel because I will be sharing all of that in the spring and summer and autumn um, a lot of homeschool videos and learning videos videos and my garden um, I did some gardening last year so if you want to go back and see those they were in my last year summer videos and they were honestly so beautiful and I loved how they turned out I'm sorry I'm just talking through all of these stretch and folds um, we already did our second stretch and fold and now our third stretch and fold and then after this we will start heading to the basement so we can get started on all of our seeds Trying to understand What if this now that I am downstairs, I am going to fill this bin with some soil. So I am putting in like potting mix, some moss, fertilizer, um, and water and mixing it all up. Um, so that it gets like damp and it's like damp soil. And then I will be filling up like those little um, potting containers that you get from nurseries or greenhouses and then I will start seeding and planting all of my seeds and then naming all of the seeds that I do start and um, this has been a really fun journey this is like my real real first time doing this but it is turning out great so far I did this last week so now I'm filming this and this was last weekend but by the time you guys see this it would be two weeks ago um, I know that sounds crazy but they are growing they are doing amazing and I am just so happy about this little journey that me and my son are going on and I cannot wait till we start homeschool in autumn this year I see them pulling your strings and you might be
all the seeds are um, potted in the soil and they are all named and tagged I am going to be spraying lots of water on them to make sure that they are really damp especially because they will have a heat lamp above them um, so that will really suck out a lot of the water and moisture so I do want to make sure that they are super super soaked Now that I am back up and all the seeds are potted and I am done down there now it's time for them to start growing um, I am back up and as you can see my breads are rising I let them rise for a few hours um, after you stretch and fold um, four times you have to let it like rise for like five or however many hours just until they have really doubled in size and I end up letting them rise until like 10 o'clock at night but I am putting it in the fridge overnight so it can get cold um, normally you can just bake it the same night but I like to put mine in the fridge so that it can rise a little bit more um, and now I am starting my pizza dough Now that my pizza dough has risen and doubled in size, I am just putting them in Ziploc bags and I'm going to freeze it until we are ready to make pizza. Um, and then you guys also saw me put my breads in the fridge. Now it is the next morning and I am getting the um, breads ready to go into the oven. I'm going to score one of them with a heart and then the other one with just some lines and I love how they turned out and we ate one of them and it was so so delicious. Nothing makes sense anymore
after the breads are in the oven and they are done right now I'm just taking off the lid so that they can bake a little bit more um, but once I pull them all out they turned out so beautiful and like I said you will see one of them cut open and just how delicious it looks it's so fluffy and moist and just warm bread is honestly the best especially when it's your homemade home cooked bread and it's all from you and it's just so delicious but anyways thank you so much for being here i appreciate all of you and i just hope that you enjoyed today's video i especially enjoyed it especially because i got to do my seeds for my garden 2023 i'm so excited for that i'm growing so much and i just can't wait to share more with you all and then i also made two delicious breads as well as pizza dough that will serve as a dinner for one night or two nights for my family so i just hope that you enjoyed it i definitely did but thank you again for being here please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all again next time bye friends i could feel this way and it's kind of strange don't even know your name